Furthermore, how long will rupees 12,000 take to amount to rupees 14,000 at 5% per annum converted quarterly? Now here it's still easier, it's been given that 1.0125. So here what do we have? Now we have R is equal to 0 0.05, okay? A is 14,000 and P is 12,000. And how long will it take for it? So what do you have here? And it is converted quarterly. So we have oh, amount that is 14,000 is equal to 12,000 into 1 plus R by N. R by N is 0 0.05 divided by 4, which will be 0 0.0125 raised to N. So this gets cancelled, of course. So that means 14 by 12 is equal to 1.0125 raised to n. So we need to find out what is 14 by 12. 14 divided by 12 is that is 1.0125 raised to n is 1.167 and so forth. Now how do we calculate this? So what we have to do is using the calculator 1.0125 multiply by itself and find out how many times you have to multiply so that you get 1.167 or a number close to it. Take that number into account. Or in this case, it is told that 1.0125 raised to 12.4 is 1.166, which is the same as this. That means that n is equal to 12.4 if you compare the terms over here. So n turns out to be 12. But just in case this information is not given, you have to keep pressing the 1.0125 equal into equal to press n number of times. See which n will give you this. So n is 12.4, but this means there are 12.4 quarter years. Therefore, the number of Full years will be 12.4 by 4 full years, which is 3.1 years. So it's going to be 3.1 years. So how long will so and so be 12,000 become 14,000 in 3.1 years? Okay. Yes, we do get it as 3.1 years. <coughs> Then, much the same way you have, in what time will rupees 3,90,625 amount to 4,56,976? So, amount is 4,56,976 is 3,90,625 into 1 plus 8 percent impounded semi annually. That means for half year the rate is going to be 0 0.04, so it's going to be 1.04. And we need to find out n here. How many half years do we have which can give this? So again, we lack 4, 5, 6, 9, 7, 6 divided by 3, 9, 0, 6, 2, 5. So this means that this you divide it by here, you get 1.16. 986 you're getting approximately is 1.04 raised to n now if you if this information is not given you just have to keep multiplying 1.04 by itself and find how many times you have to multiply to get this here it has been given that 1.04 raised to 4 is so and so that means n is equal to 4 which means there are n 4 half years so in this 4 half years it will be 2 full years. Because there are four half years, this means there are two full years. So, given among these, the option is going to be two years, definitely not four years. It's four half years. Again, candidates, please be careful. Be careful. Interest is compounded semi-annually and hence the rate also has to be divided by two. So, n is equal to two years. Yes, we will have it right there. Okay.
then a sum amounts to rupees 1331 at a principal of rupee 1000 at 10% compounded annually find the time so a sum amounts to 1331 so we have amount 133y is equal to principal that is 1000 at 10 percent compound so 1.1 raised to n you have so 1.1 raised to n is this so this divided by this you divide it and you get 1.331 is 1.1 raised to n so we can calculate this this is going to be 3 in any case because 1.1 cube is 1331 but nevertheless let's do it and see so it's 1.1 into 2 times 3 times you're getting 1.331 that is 1.1 raised to 3 is 1.331 which means n is equal to 3 so since they're not mentioned n is going to be 3 years so it is in 3 years you get this particular what do we have here the time by which a sum of money would treble itself at 8 percent per annum compound interest is so many years so that means we have a is equal to p into 1 plus r raised to n so a is equal to 3p is equal to p 8 percent per annum so it's going to 0 0.08 so it's 1.08 raised to n so we have 1.08 raised to n is 3 so again as per the calculator multiply 1.08 how many times let's see 1.08 multiply by itself twice thrice four times five times six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so when it is multiplied by itself 14 times you get 2.937 so when you just write it down when n is 14 you get 2.937 which is almost close to 3 we will multiply by itself once more times and you get 3.172 which is much bigger than this so among these it is either 14 years or 15 years definitely not 16 so 14 is closest to it so n will be 14 if you if it is 14 or 15 is also fine because n raised to 15 is also 3.172 which is a little close quite close to this so but here we have 14 years so among these 14 years is the right answer so we have n is 14 years okay okay quite similar to this the time in which the sum of money will double at 5 percent per annum so it's double so we have a is 2p is p into 1.05 raised to n so we have now we need to multiply 1.05 into we need number 2 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 is 1.97 odd and 15 is 2.07. So 15. 1.05 raised to 15 is more than 2. 1.05 raised to 14 is 1.97. So, n is going to be somewhere between 14 and 15. The only number among these which is close between 14 and 15 is 14.2 years. So, this could be the right answer. Let's see. Yes, okay. On similar lines, we have in how many years... A sum of money trebles at 5% per annum compound interest payable on half yearly basis. So we have it becomes treble on half yearly basis. So we have amount is 3p is equal to principal 
into 1 plus 0 0.05 compound half year. So it becomes 0 0.025 raised to n. So this gets cancelled. So 3 is equal to 1.025 raised to n. Let me calculate this. So 1.025 into 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 25, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, So the closest that we get that is when you have n is equal to 44 it turns out to be 3.03790 45 when it is n is 45 and And when n is 44, it turns out to be 2.9638. So 3 is somewhere between the two. That means n would be 44 half years plus some small amount, which is the same as 22 years plus some small amount. So among these, definitely not this, this, this. So the closest is 22 years and maybe three months so this is how we get it so there are when you multiply 1.025 by itself 44 times you get an answer close to this but this takes into account the number of half years which is around 44 half years which would mean that there are about 22 full years so the closest among them is these so it could be n is equal to 22 years okay right it's 22 years and three months okay a sum of money compounded annually becomes Rs. 1140 in 2 years and Rs. 1730 10 in 3 years. Find the rate of interest per annum. Now let's see how to do it. So the, again there is a pair of simultaneous equations quite close similar to the one we had in simple interest. A sum of money compounded annual that means A1 is 1140 and A2 is 1710. So it's going to be A1, A2 may be 1710 is equal to P into 1 plus R raised to 3 because it's for 3 years and this one 1140 is equal to 1 plus R raised to 2. So we can divide 1 by 2 or 2 by 1, you get 1 the 1140 upon 1710 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus r. In other words, 1 plus r is 171 upon 114. So let's see what you get 171. Or in other words, R would turn out to be 171 upon 114 minus 1, which is 171 minus 114 upon 114. So it's going to be minus 57 divided by 114, which will be obviously 0 0.5, that is 0 0.5. So R is going to be 0.5 into 10 that is 50 percent is our answer so when the rate is 50 percent you get this 
possible two different amounts. Okay, simple problem, just division. Okay. Then we have the concept of present value of rupees 10,000 due in two years at 5% per annum compound interest. Now it's the same concept of compound interest, but the word use is different. Now that means, in simple words, it means some amount that you deposit now would become rupees 10,000. The amount that there is some amount that you deposit now which would become rupees 10,000 in two years at 5% per annum. So in short, basically, it means that you have the amount as 10,000. Read the question carefully. How much should you deposit now? The present value means what is the value now? That it would become 10,000 in two years. In two years. So T or rather N is equal to 2. So, you have been asked to find P. So, 10,000 is equal to P into 1.05 raised to 2. It is an amount it is turning out to be. So, we calculate 1.05 is equal to. Then we take the value of we get 9000 and so P turns out to be 9070 odd rupees which is the same as 10,000 divided by 1.05 square around 9070 rupees in 29 paise the closest among these is 9070 okay so what do we have here? Present value of rupees 10,000 due in two years at 5% per annum compound interest when the interest is paid on half yearly basis. So it's the same sum, deceptively same, but there's a slight twist here. You have a half yearly basis. So the R by N part will turn out to be 0 0.05 by 2 which is 0 0.025 and hence you have 10,000 is equal to P into 1 plus R by N 0 0.025 2 years will have 4 such half years so we calculate 1.025 into 5, 3, 4 and we have memory. Okay, then we have 10 divided by this. So you get, so P will turn out to be 10,000 upon 1.025 raised to 4, which is roughly 9,059.50 which can be written as 9060. So the closest among these is 9060. And hence, we get it accordingly. So the answer or the option number is C. Okay. All right. Here we have something. At what percentage rate of compound interest will a sum of money become 16 times in four years if interest is being calculated compounding annually. So, we need to find the rate of interest will the sum of money become 16 times. So, we have amount is equal to 16p. So, amount 16p is equal to p into 1 by 1 plus r by 100 raised to 4. 16p. So p gets cancelled here. That means 16 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 raised to 4, which is the same as telling 2 raised to 4 is 1 plus r by 100 raised to 4, which means that indices are equal, terms are equal, which means that 2 is equal to 1 plus r by 100, which means 1 is equal to r by 100, hence r would turn out to be 100%. 
R would turn out to be 100%. So at 100% you have this kind of a situation. Okay. We do have it. Okay. Now here we have a situation. The annual birth and death rates per thousand are 39.4 and 19.4 respectively. The number of years in which the population will be doubled, assuming there is no immigration or emigration is how much? So here the annual birth and death rates are 39.4. So the net number of people in terms of increase, so net increase in population per year would be 39.4 minus 19.4 per thousand which is turning out to be 20 per thousand which is the same as 2 by 100 or 2 percent so that we can now whatever is the increase in the value of money in terms of interest same principle will be used in case of population increase it's a concept of increase getting added up and further increase on the added amount so the same formula for compound interest and amount can be used over here hence in that case rate is going to be two percent which is 0 0.02 number of years we have to find out and in which population will be double so amount is going to be 2p that means 2p is equal to amount is equal to p into 1.02 raised to n divide by p on both sides you get so 1.02 raised to n is 2 so n needs to be found out again what do we do using a calculator multiply 1.02 by itself and find out that value which will make it closer how many which number of times will make it closest to 2 so we do it 1.02 into itself twice, twice, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times, 7 times, 8 times, 9 times, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So when, when it is roughly when n is 35, it is roughly 1.999, so which is roughly 2. Therefore, in 35 years, because if you do it 36, it could become more in among these options, which is 35 years. And giving a little bit of uh, leverage to the fact that there could be some variations in the calculations to calculators too. So in 35 years, the population will become double of what it is we consider this increase in population per year. Yes, it is 35. Okay. The population of a town increases every year by 2%. So the population at the beginning of the year. So this again, you have r is equal to 0 0.02 the number of years by which the total increase of population is 40 percent that means a is going to be 1 plus 40 percent of it that is 1.4 times p isn't it 140 times of 140 percent of the original population which is 1.4 p so 1.4 p is equal to p into 1.02 raised to n so this gets cancelled so again we need to do 1.02 1.02 into itself twice three times four times five times six times seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so 17 times if you get to so 1.02 raised to 17 gives 1.400 or something. That means n should be equal to 17. When the number of years is 17, the population will become 1.4 1 times of itself. That is the population increases by 40% 40, 40 once we get it that way.